Hello, Imelda Sumara. Good evening. Hello, Maria. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Can you listen to me? Hi, Maria. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Can you listen to me? Let me know, please, if you can listen. Hello, Anna Gabriela. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Good night. I don't listen. I still have problem. Um, okay, Maria. Anna Gabriela, Kevin, can you listen to me tonight? Yes, I do, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. And good evening, teacher. Hello, Aida. Good evening. How are you today? That's okay. Oh, you are okay. Okay, that is excellent. And and you? I'm very good. Thanks for asking me. And you, Kevin? How are you tonight? I am fine, teacher. Yeah, mm, that is great. And Maria Magdalena, welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Okay, so yesterday we were learning about modifiers, um, gerunds, and also preposition to describe people, right? And we learned uh, the modifier, uh, let's see, the one, uh, the girl, the man, the woman, the boy, the kid. So all of them are modifiers, right? And we also learned some uh, prepositions that we use to describe people and also some gerunds, right? Uh, is the woman, she is the woman eating, she is the woman eating pizza, she is the man dancing, she is the girl speaking, okay, so those were given, right, so we studied that yesterday, for today we are going to start a topic from section number five, uh, but before to go to this topic, let me know, please, if you have already finished with the platform exercises in section number four, who has already finished section number four? Can you yes. please tell me? Oh, Aida, you have already finished. That is excellent. I don't. Ah, okay, you are done. That's great, Maria Magdalena. Very good job. Congratulations. Anybody has finished? Me, teacher. Um, okay, Kevin, you have already finished. That is excellent. And... What well, I hope that everybody finishes uh, today, right, or tomorrow, right, if you have time. Tomorrow we won't have classes, so you will have time to, you will have time, right, to complete the section number four. Is it okay? And also you can start working in section number five, right, if you have already finished section number four, uh, no problem, right, you can start solving the exercises on the next section, which is section number five. So have you ever written a camel? That is the name of the section five, which we're going to start tonight. So have you ever written a camel? That's kind of impossible. ¿Alguna vez han montado en camello? No, no, I don't, teacher. Ah, okay. Um, do you remember the memes in the presidential campaign? They say that some camels were coming to El Salvador, right? But we never seen those camels. Nunca vimos esos camellos, right? Do you remember that? <laughs> okay, uh, that was kind of funny, right? But let me see, have you ever ridden a horse? What about a horse? Have you ever ridden a horse? Yes. I'm... 
I can. <laughs> okay, in this case, we are going to answer with the auxiliary have and say, yes, I have. No, I haven't. Uh, let's yes, see I, I have. Okay, let's see another experience that you have had. Let's see, for example, have you ever eaten sushi? Have you ever yes, eaten sir. sushi? How can we say, yes, yes I, have. I have. I have already eaten sushi. Okay, we say, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Have you ever, let's see, have you ever eaten pupusas? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Have you ever eaten carrot pupusa? Yes, I have, teacher. Yesterday. <laughs> oh, really? Are they delicious? Yes. Okay. ¿Alguna vez han probado las pupusas de zanahoria? Yes, I have. Yes, yes. I have too. Ah, okay. And have you ever eaten eh, papelillo pupusa? No, I haven't. Yes, I have. Oh, Maria Magdalena has. Uh, okay, have you ever uh, stand in public? Have you ever sent a song in public? ¿Alguna vez han cantado una canción en público? No, I haven't. Yes, I have, teacher. No, I haven't. Oh, no, you haven't. Have you ever read the whole Bible? ¿Alguna vez ha leído completa la Biblia? Oh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay, okay. I say, no, I haven't. I haven't too, right? Don't worry. It is too, too long, right? There are many things to learn there. But anyway, so in experience, right? We use the present perfect to talk about experiences, right? That we have had in the past. Okay. Um, have you already finished the exercises on the platform? That is another example, right? Have you already finished? Es una acción que ya hemos completado, que hemos completado recientemente. Y dice, I have already finished my exercises. Yo ya he terminado mis ejercicios. Ese es otro uso del presente perfecto. And tonight we're going to start studying the present perfect. Okay. So, do you know what is the past participle form of the verb? ¿Cómo te lo vas a comer, Choco? Mejor comete un poquito de esos. Um, oh, okay. Okay, so let's continue with the class. And let's see the, uh, the past participle form of the verb. Past participle form. And when we are studying verbs, we know that there are there are three columns, right, in the verb list. Hay tres columnas, okay? The one is the verb in infinitive form, la forma del verbo que no está conjugada. And then we have the simple past, the simple past form of the verb, el pasado simple. And then we have the past participle. For present perfect, we are going to use the past participle form of the verb. But let me share with you the presentation for tonight, and we're going to study this present perfect. Here we go. Present perfect. I am sharing with you my screen. Can you please let me know if you can see it? Yes, we can. Okay, so welcome to the class number 12. Um, this is the, you see? Well, we are almost in the last week, right? And this is a very, very long topic, and we need to pay attention to this. So in this section, we will study the present perfect as an answer question using the present perfect with regular and irregular past participles. So that is the lesson of the before tonight. So let's start with this. As I mentioned before, when we are studying this one of the pairs, we, we are going to find three columns, right, in the pair list. So we have infinitive, simple past, or past simple, and past participle, past participle of the verb. So do you know that we have, you already know, I'm sorry, you already know that we have two types of verbs in English, right? We have regular verbs, and also we have irregular verbs. 
So in this case, in regular verbs, the past participle form is the same as the past simple. The past simple is the same past participle in regular verbs. So I have here this example. If you want, you can take a screenshot. If no, I'm going to share with you this bear list uh, after the class. I'm going to share with you this bear list for you to have, and you have to learn them, right? Uh, bears are a little bit complicated because we don't have all, another way to learn one by one. We need to learn them one by one. So let's see. Let's just read some example. Let's see, for example, close. The very close, we have in the infinity form clause, and then we have the simple past clause, and also the past participle clause. Uh, it's the same. Right? In los verbos regulares, es lo mismo. El mismo pasado simple funciona como pasado participle. Now let's take a look at the regular verb list. Now take a look of this irregular verb list. You can also take a screenshot if you want, because we are going to need this later. So look at this. We have the base form of the verb or the infinity form, and then we have the simple past or the past simple of the verb, and then we have the past participle. So here is a little bit more complicated than regular verbs, because in regular verbs have a different past simple and a different past participle. Just take a look of the verb awake. So we have awake, awoke, awoken. We have high here, hidden. And we have be, was, were, and been. The blow, blue, brown. Build, build, build. Buy, bow, bow. Catch, cow, cow. Yes, shoot, chop, chosen. So as you can see, they are, uh, they are different, right? Drink, drunk, drunk. Eat, a eaten. Fall, fell, fallen. Five, foul, foul. Fly, flew, flounce. Freeze, frost, frozen. So you can see, um, then we need to learn them, right? We need to learn the base form, the past simple form, and also the past participle. Which column do we need in the present perfect? The third one. The third one is the colon that we need for this tense. Para el presente perfecto, el que necesitamos es la tercera columna, the past participle of the verb. Then, let's see some examples. This is the structure that we are going to follow to make sentences in theme and present perfect. So, subject, have or has, plus past participle. This is the structure to make affirmative sentences. And look at this example. I have eaten almond cookies. Eh, he comido, ¿verdad? Mm, galletas de almendras. I have eaten. I have eaten. So I have the subject I. I have the auxiliary have. And I have the verb in past participle, which is eat. Right? The past participle of eat is eaten in this case. So I have eaten almond cookies. You have sun, a cool sun. You have sun, a cool sun. She has danced very well. He has watched the movie three times. It has been cloudy the whole week. We have watched the car a thousand of times and they have swam in the river. Yes, give me a second here. Okay. Okay, let me fix this mistake in this case in the last sentence swam is the simple past. We need swam here. Okay, now it is correct. They have swam in the river. So as you can see when it's subject, then we need auxiliary have or has, and then we are going to need the past participle form of the verb. And when I am going to use have and has. I'm going to use have with the pronoun I to say I have, you have, we have, and they have. And with the third person, she, he, and also it, we are going to use has. He has, it has, we have, plus the past participle. Is it clear now? <laughs> Do you have any question? Pero no. bien extraño ese, esa conjugación de los... Which one, de for este example? Presente perfecto, ¿verdad? Porque... Se ocupa el have, pero yo he visto que ocupan 
I had been, y de ahí el verbo eh, presente continuo, working. Ah, es, ok, ese es otro tiempo, otra... ese es el presente perfecto continuo. Cuando dice, I have been studying, I have been dancing, I have been singing. Eso es, yo he estado más una actividad ¿verdad? que ha estado haciendo. Por ejemplo, yo he estado viendo televisión, dice, I have been watching TV. Ese es otro tiempo presente perfecto progresivo, that is the name. And this is just present perfect. Ese es solo yes. Aquí sería perfecto. como, I have eaten, es como, he comido. Yo, yo he comido, yo he cantado, tú has cantado, ella ha bailado, él ha visto la película, eh, ha estado nublado, eh, nosotros hemos lavado, en de, eh, ellos han nadado. That okay. is the present perfect. Algo que hemos hecho, ¿verdad? una actividad que hemos hecho. Y el presente perfecto progresivo, algo que hemos estado haciendo. So that is the difference. Okay. okay, now I need a volunteer. Who wants to help me read in this example? Who wants to practice? Any volunteer? I want to be, I want to practice, sir. Thank you so much, Alfredo. So let's do, let's do it. Go ahead, please. Uh, subject plus half, uh, has plus past participle. I have eaten almost cookies. Uh, you have sung a cool song. She has danced very well. He has watched uh, the movie three times. It has been cloudy the whole week. We have washed uh, the car thousand of time and they have zoom uh, in the river. Excellent, very good. That was excellent, thank you so much. I need another minute to practice reading this example. Thank you, Alfredo. Anybody want? Okay, if no volunteers, I'm gonna pick somebody. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let me see. Okay. Um, let's go with the next thing here. Here you are going to participate in this part. So in this conversation, we are going to read some examples, right? Some examples of the past participle of the verb and also the present perfect. So let's see, for example, the question, have you been, have you been in New Orleans long? Have you been? Has estado en Nueva Orleans? Uh, por mucho tiempo? And they say, yes, a few days. I'm really excited to be here. And then, I, have you been to a jazz club yet? Have you been to a jazz club yet? And the answer is, uh, yeah, I already been to one. Sí, ya he estado en... I've already done that. Ya he hecho eso. So, have you written a street card? They are a lot of fun. Absolutely, that's how I got here today. So if we can find some examples, right? Uh, can you tell me which are some past participle forms here? Which bird are in past participle form? Can you find some, some in this conversation? The first one being uh, done, excited. Ah, uh, no, sorry, sorry. No. Uh, right then, you say being uh, that's it. Okay, you say being done, and also right then, no, ribbon, ribbon, ah, uh, ribbon, ribbon. Okay, so let's listen to this. Um, what I don't have the audio, I guess. Let me no. But I'm going to read for you and then we're going to practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a yacht club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about Riverbound tour? Mm, I have already done that too. Have you ridden in a street car? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. 
Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. So it seems that Todd has done a lot of activity, right? In the time that he has been in New Orleans. And Jan, uh, probably she hasn't done uh, many things yet. Aún no ha hecho muchas actividades. So, tú volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Yes, tú volunteer to practice in there. Anybody wants? Me, teacher. Oh. Kevin and José Daniel, thank you so much. Can you please start, Kevin? Okay. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I am really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Oh, uh, I've already done that too. Have you written, t-shirt is writing or reading? Reading. Writing. Reading. Have you written in a street car? Oh, okay, okay. Have you written in, in a street car? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I go here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, thank you so much. After reading this conversation and seeing an example there, let's go with this. This is the grammar focus, right? Present perfect with already in jet. Already in jet are two words that we usually use with this tense, with present perfect. So the present perfect is formed with the very half plus the past participle, as I said before to you. So question, how I'm going to make question? It's very easy. I'm going to write the auxiliary have at the beginning of the question. Then I'm going to place the subject and then the past participle form of the main verb. So let's see, for example, have you been to a jazz club? Then the auxiliary have at the beginning, you is the subject, being is the past participle of the verb, so a jazz club is the complement and the question mark. Has he written in a street card is another example. Has he called home lately? Have they eaten dinner yet? Then in this way, we make question. I still already have at the beginning, subject, as participle form of the verb, complement, and the question mark. Now, here is the affirmative sentence. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. And also we can contract uh, I have you say I've I've been to several. And in the negative equation, we are going to add not after the auxiliary have. You say no, I haven't been to one. And we can contract have plus not equal to haven't. And let's see in the third person, you say yes, is written in one. So she has written in one. And we can make a contraction here when we say she's. She's written in one. And you say, no, she hasn't written in one. This is the negative form interperson. Hasn't, hasn't, she hasn't written in one. And then we have, has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. Or no, they haven't eaten yet. And we have the contraction of the at the end of this slide, and you say, I have equal to I've, you have, you've, he has, his, he has, his, it yes. has, it. We have used we've, and they have, they've, they've, uh, have no equal to haven't, and has not, they haven't. That is the contraction. So let's say he, she, and it. You can get confused, right? Because the verb to be, uh, it has the same contraction, right? 
when you want to say he is, you say he is, he is. So we are going to need to see the context, right? To read the complete sentence to know, right? Si después de he is va un past participle, entonces sabemos que es presente perfecto, ¿verdad? He has. He has. De lo contrario sería el verbo to be, ¿verdad? He is, él es. Do you have any question in this part? Question? No question. Is it clear now? No, teacher. No question. Oh, no question. Okay, that is great. Then let's go with this then. For present perfect, we will use a have or has plus participle form of the verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we talk about. We use the present perfect when we want to express an action we began in the past and continue in the present. Okay, how that happen? Well, una acción que comenzó en el pasado y aún está vigente en el presente. She has worked in the bank for five years. Hace cinco años esta persona comenzó a trabajar en el banco y todavía está ahí. Entonces, she has worked in the bank for five years. Todavía trabaja ahí. Ha trabajado por cinco años. We have had the same car for 10 years. And we still have the car. Hemos tenido el mismo carro por 10 años. Y aún lo tenemos. Todavía es nuestro. Entonces, algo que comenzó en el pasado y todavía está vigente en el presente. Okay, that is the first use. Second use, when we may reference to an unfinished temporary period of time. Cuando hacemos referencia a un periodo de tiempo que no ha terminado todavía. I have worked hard this week. He trabajado duro esta semana. Y todavía es jueves, lo que falta mañana. Entonces no ha terminado ese periodo de tiempo. Eh, it has rained a lot of this year. Ha llovido mucho este año. Y el año todavía no termina, ¿verdad? Nos hacen falta algunos meses. So it has rained a lot of this year. Y todavía estamos empezando septiembre, mañana. We haven't seen her today. No la hemos visto hoy. Y el día todavía no termina. Entonces, no ha terminado ese periodo de tiempo. En, en este caso, utilizamos el presente perfecto. Next activity. Repeating action in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. So, repeating action. Acciones repetidas. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten at that restaurant many times. Eh, ellos han visto esa película seis veces. Eh, ellos han comido eh, en un restaurante muchas veces. Ok. Eh, have, you, have you seen a movie more than six times? Have you seen a movie more than six times? ¿Ha visto una película más de seis veces? Yes, I have teacher. Yes, you have. What was the movie? Or what is the movie? Fast and Furious. <laughs> Fast and Furious, really? But which yes. number? Uh all teacher. Um uh, what are them? The, the the number one the number one and two. Yeah. Okay, that is great. And okay. We have eaten at that restaurant many times. So, how many times have you gone to your favorite restaurant? How many times have you eaten in your favorite restaurant? ¿Cuántas veces ha comido en su restaurante favorito? Can you say, I have eaten at my favorite restaurant 10 times, 20 times? 25 times. Teacher. Oh, yes. I in my case I have eaten in my favorite restaurant for three times. Oh three times. Okay, that's great. Okay, let's move on then. And we have uh, the last use. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown. Someone has it in my talk. 
esto no mencionamos a qué horas ni cuándo. Entonces, ¿el tiempo no es relevante o es desconocido? So he says, someone has eaten my soap. Then let's have a review of the uses of the present perfect. The first one is we use the present perfect when we want to express actions that began in the past and continue in the present. That is the first one. The second one, when we make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time. Then for repeated action in a specific period of time between the present and the past. And when timing is not relevant or it is unknown. And now let's talk about these two words already in depth. But before to start talking with this, um, we are going to practice with the question, have you ever? And you have to answer if you have had that experience before. So the question is the following, let me see. Okay, I am sharing a whiteboard with you. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, let me see what is text. Oh, here is text. And here we go with the equation. I'm going to change. Okay, this is the question. Have you ever, have you ever, we use this question to ask somebody in using the present perfect if you have had this experience let's see for example have you ever played the soccer maria magdalena have you ever played the soccer in yes yes i, I have, have played the soccer Yes, I have played soccer many times, for example. I have played soccer many times. Then let's see the next one. Have you ever eaten octopus? Have you ever eaten octopus, Claudia? No, I haven't eaten octopus. How can you say no, I haven't? Eating octopus. Eating octopus. Excellent. Okay, now let's go with the next one. Have you ever brought a letter? Is it correct? Is it brought or written? What is the past participle form of write? Written. Ah, okay, that is great. So have you ever written? A hand written letter. ¿Ha escrito una carta a mano alguna vez? ¿Han you ever written a hand written letter? Ahí da mal. A ver, tell me. Yes, I have writing a hand written letter. Okay, that's great. Next question. Have you. Have you ever swum in the ocean? Have you ever swum in the ocean, Kevin? Kevin, have you ever swum in the ocean? Perdón, teacher, este, a mí me estaba diciendo es que se yes, está trabando Kevin. algo el internet. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yes, I have, I have uh, a swoon in the ocean. Okay. Now let's see the next one. I'm going to get a page and we're going to continue in this part. Next question. The next question is for Maria Magdalena. Maria Magdalena, 
have you have you ever painted your house? Have you yes. ever painted your house? Yeah. Yes, and, I have painted uh, my house the last year. Okay. Okay, that is great. Yes, I have already painted my house. And then let me see. The next question is for Alfredo. Alfredo, have you ever ridden a motorcycle? No, no I have never uh, ridden a motorcycle. I'm scared oh. of um, doing it. Okay, that is great. <laughs> and let's see. Have you ever traveled, traveled to another country? This question is for Maria Martinez. Have you ever traveled to another country? Maria, are you there? The, or Ana Gabriela, are you there? Can you answer this? Have you ever traveled to another country? Yes, I have traveled to Mexico last vacation. Uh, okay, when you say yes, I have traveled to Mexico. In in this case, because at time it is not relevant. If, if I say last vacation, then it is simple past. So you say, I traveled to Mexico last vacation. Oh, my last vacation. Uh, okay. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Okay, that is great. And let me see another question. Have you ever um son in public this is for Aida have you ever seen a son in public Could you repeat please have you ever seen a son in public no I haven't seen in the public okay so no I haven't Son, a son in public. That is right. In no, the last, no, I haven't. Son, son in the public. Son, a son in public. That's great. Have you ever cooked? Have you ever cooked lasagna? And let's see, Abel, have you ever cooked lasagna? Yes, I have eat lasagna. Okay, thank you, Susie. No, I haven't cooked lasagna. Oh, I think that this is the answer of the person, but this is a eat. Okay, thank you so much. So, do you have any question now on this? Then remember, right? We need the auxiliary half and then the subject, and then Let's see, the very impact participle form. Now we are going to study two other, other two words that we usually use with this thing. And they are already in there. So let me show you again the presentation and we're going to continue with this. Okay, here. Okay, now let's talk about already in there, the two words that I mentioned. So already usually goes after had or has and before the main verb. We have the example of the position where we are going to place the word already in our sentences. So we've already had our breakfast. So already is between the main verb and the auxiliary have. So if we have already had our breakfast. And it means it significa que ya hicimos o acabamos de hacer esa actividad. La acabamos de completar. We have already had our breakfast. Acabamos de tener nuestro desayuno. When we are going to do your homework. But I have already done it. ¿Cuándo vas a hacer tu tarea? Le dice la mamá y al niño. Y el niño. But I have already done it. Pero la acabo de hacer. But ya la hice. I have already done it. Algo que acabo de finalizar. Then in this case I use already. And yet means that something that we expect has happened. Or hasn't happened. We usually put at the end of a sentence. So, for example, has the post arrived at? 
has the post arrived yet? Uh, ya llegó la carta. Have you done your homework? No, yet. Y, ¿Hiciste tu tarea? No, todavía no. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. No estás listo todavía. Mira la hora. Haven't you got ready? Okay, now we are going to complete the following sentences we have or had. Can you tell me, please? I have number one here. My sister, my cake. Mi hermana okay. se ha comido mis pasteles. My sister has eaten my cake. Okay, that is great. So we need to hear a hatch, right? Let me write it down here. Has. Okay. The text is too big for this space. Has. Okay, my sister has eaten my cake. The next one, number two, the children. Have. Do I have or has in this case? Mm. <clears throat> it is had. had. Yes, you're right, the answer is had because we are talking about they. When they have lost their passport. They have lost their passport. They, or the children have lost their passport. Now, your friend been happy all day. Huh? Yes, you're right. Your friend has been happy all day. In the next one, I never travel by plane. Have. 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 Okay, the answer is have. I have never traveled by plane. Never is another word that we usually use in this tense. Right? And cuando tenemos never, no necesitamos poner haven't, porque estaríamos haciendo la negación dos veces. I haven't never traveled by plane. Sería, yo no he nunca viajado en avión. Entonces, lo ponemos así. I have never traveled by plane. Yo nunca he viajado en avión. ¿Ok? So, no ponemos negativo con never en este tiempo. Let's see number five. Have. We have cut our hair today. And number six. Have. have again, so you say, I have just had a shower. And number seven, my husband. Has. My husband has. My husband has forgotten my birthday. ¿Les ha pasado? ¿Se olvidaron de su cumpleaños? No. No, no yet. No yet. <laughs> yeah, but that could happen in the future. Okay, I have no. Right? Okay, now let's move. To the breakup rooms and we are going to practice. Now it's your turn to practice with your classmates. So this here. What we are going to work in this breakup room. So we are going to ask our classmates if they have had some experience using the present perfect. Okay, you are going to make questions like, for example, have you ever traveled by train? Yes, I haven't traveled the Really? Yes. Oh, you say yes, I have traveled by train. Really? Yes. Yes. Where are you then? Here in El Salvador? No. In the USA. Ah, okay. In the USA. That is so in the subway. Was it in the mm -hmm. subway? Yes. The, oh, nice. In the airport the the Georgia in Atlanta in Atlanta. Okay, that is excellent. Was it a great experience? Um, 
the first is a uh, skirt. Um, okay, that is nice. And let's see, Alfredo, have you ever traveled by plane? Yes. Uh, I have, I have, uh, say, hardly ever mm. traveled by, by plane. I have already traveled by plane. I already, already got it, thank you. Yeah, so I... I yeah. Tell me the sentence. <laughs> okay, so I have already uh traveled by plane. Ah, okay. Where? Where did to you Col go? To Colombia. Oh, to Colombia. That is great. Where yeah. are you in Medellin? Yeah, actually, yes, I was in the capital. Uh, that is Bogota. Bogota. Right? Yes. Um, okay, great. So... Eh, de esta manera, utilizando have you ever, usted le va a preguntar a su compañero have you ever eaten have you have you ever played soccer, have you ever played tennis, have you ever painted a picture have you ever gone to what to Iztalco's Volcano have you ever gone to Cerro Verde so have you ever painted your house, have you ever played chess? Have you ever won a medal? ¿Alguien se ha ganado una medalla en esta clase? Have you ever won a medal? Nobody? Not yet. Not yet? Okay, at the end of this course, probably. <laughs> okay, so have you ever uh, ridden a motorcycle Have you ever driven a car? So, de esa manera tiene que preguntarle por lo menos cinco. Prepare cinco preguntas para sus compañeros, please. I will give you two minutes. Two minutes for you to get ready. Five questions. Five questions for your classmates. You see in the present perfect. Have you ever done reggaeton? Alfredo <laughs> say no. Aida, have you ever danced reggaeton? Yes, I haven't danced reggaeton. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. Yes. Uh, one minute more. Are you ready with your five questions? Yes. Okay, at least three, right? At least three. At least three questions. Por lo menos tres preguntas para que le haga sus compañeros. Okay, I hope you're ready. Let's go to the breakout rooms. Today we are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to make a little of. Okay, here we go. Then in the first group, we have Alfredo, Ana, Gabriela, and Imelda Xiomara. In the group two, Abel, Joanna, and Maria Martinez. In group three, Aida Marisol, Claudia, and Kevin. Here we go. Enjoy your practice and see you in 10 minutes.
Hello, Maria. Did you receive the invitation to join to one of the breakout rooms? I have already I have I have uh already watched uh the scary movies. And have you ever danced a perre music? I have never uh danced uh perreo music. Okay, that's all. Okay, uh, my turn. Um, have you ever uh, gone to Pital? Mm, no, I haven't mm, gone to Pital. Have you ever practiced skydiving? What? A sky? Diving? Who is it? Like, Sky diving. Yes, it's like when you go, uh, when you when you are in in a plane, and you jump, uh, to fall, fall down. Mm. Did you right? Like, yes, when you jump out of a plane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, okay. I I no no I haven't. A uh, go. Repeat the the question, please. Yes. Have you I ever? Know. Yes. Have you ever practiced, uh, skydiving? No, I haven't. Uh, practiced high diving, or something like that. Sky, sky diving. Sky diving. Okay. Con ese sky de cielo, sky. Sky? Sky? Diving. Sky diving. Diving. Ah, okay. Next question, Alfredo. Okay. Have you ever uh have you ever um eaten uh, uh let's say what else? Uh Mr. Donas Donas? Um, she has already she already left the she left the class. Really? Okay, let me check if she is in the main station. And let me see. Ah, okay. But we have Imelda. I guess she's not here. I guess she's doing something else. Uh, yes, I think the same, right? Probably she is still working or something like that. She must be busy at this moment. Hi, Anna. Sorry, my internet is falling. Sorry. No problem. We can continue now. See you in a minute with the rest of the classmates. Continue practicing, please. Okay. okay. Um, have you ever?
Bye. Да? Good. 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 Good night. Voy contigo, Abel. Ah, yo pensé que con el profe iba. Hola. Yo pensé que con el profe, como el profe iba entrando, yo pensé que con él iba. Dele, yo creo que. Ok. Ask how red pine. Uh, yeah, I have red pine. Okay, has come from Mexico. Otra vez. Has come right from Mexico. Entonces sería ha. No, have you came. Have you came. Hi. Hello, do you have any question? Uh, Maria, the structure is have you ever in the, in the activity? Have you ever eaten? Have you ever bought? Have you ever bought a pair of red shoes? A ver, for example. Um, no sé si siempre vamos a utilizar el ever o no me no, just in the answer you say yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Okay, for example, you say, have you been in the Honduras? Uh, can you repeat you in Honduras? Uh, have you been in Honduras? Have you been in Honduras? Maria yeah. Martinez, have you been in Honduras? No, I have done live in Honduras. Okay, you say, no, I haven't been. No, I haven't been in Honduras. No, I haven't been in Honduras. Thanks. And what about you, Claudia? Uh, have you ever gone to Kamasawa? No. Yes, I go to Kamasawa. Okay, so Maria. Say the question. Yes, I have gone to Kamasawa. I say, yes, I have already gone to Comasagua. Yes, okay. I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Gone? Gone? To Comasagua. Yes, okay. I have gone to Comasagua. Say the sentence, please. Maria, have you ever eaten langosta? Yes, I give in in langosta. Uh, okay. Yes, I have eaten langosta. Very good. Uh, lobster in English. Have ah, you okay. ever eaten lobster? Okay. Even lobster. 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 Okay, excellent. Uh, anybody has a question? Have you ever? Uh, Abel, have you ever driven a motorcycle? Yeah, I have. I ever had driving motorcycle. Yes, I have driven a motorcycle. Very good job. Thank you. See you in a minute with the rest of your classmates. You are doing a great job. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome again to the class. Uh, how was your practice? Did you finish? Did you? Yeah, teacher, it, yeah. it was great. It was great. Okay, that is excellent. So I'm happy that you enjoy practicing these kind of sentences. So have you ever was the question, right? Have you ever plus an activity? Have you ever played tennis? Claudia? Yes, I have. 
play the tennis? Oh, that is great. Have you ever played basketball, Alfredo? I have never played basketball. Uh, Abel, have you ever played video games? Yes, I have played video games. Kevin, have you ever played what card movie? Have you ever watched cards, the movie? Um, Aida Marisol, have you ever bought a car? ¿Alguna vez ha comprado un carro? No, I haven't. Me dice, no, By, I haven't bought a car. I have no, I haven't bought a car. Okay, excellent. So present perfect, right? That was the topic for tonight. Do you have any question about this? Question? No question. No question. No question at the moment. Okay, then in the next class we're going to we are going to continue talking about this. We're going to continue learning. We are going to solve a lot of exercises next class using the present perfect, right? So if you have any questions, let me know, please, in the next class. And please don't forget about the platform. Remember that you have to complete section number four. And if you can complete section number five, it is going to be excellent, right? No problem with that. If you can complete all the exercises on the platform, remember that the next week is the last week of this course, right? And before the last class, you must, right? You must finish all the exercises. So keep working on that, please. And if you can finish in this weekend, do it, right? Do it. Enjoy your weekend. See you next week. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night, teachers. Have a good, good night. night. See you next class. Good night. See you.